Hi everyone. Today I wanted to show you three uh, stretches that I really love to do to help open up my psoas to help relieve pressure through my hip flexors. I have really tight hip flexors from all the years of teaching cycle classes, too many cycle classes, and uh, not looking after myself properly in my 20s. So this is something that I do on a regular basis, uh, especially when I've been doing a lot of sitting, which can shorten the muscles at the front of the hip. Because the psoas runs up to the thoracic spine around the diaphragm, it can also put pressure on our breathing, it can affect um, the messages that go to our brain by the vagus nerve that tell us whether we're in a stress response or whether we're feeling relaxed. So um, if it's constantly contracted, the message that's going there is that we are in fight or flight. So um, it makes sense, right? Because that's what we do when we want to run. So we contract there. Uh, so opening this up will hopefully be helpful for also feeling um, better mentally, feelings of anxiety, stress, things like that for our breathing and also to help relieve pressure in the lower back because a lot of the time the pain in our lower back comes from this tightness here in our hip flexors. So let's get into it. So first of all, I'm going to turn to the side of the chair. I thought I'd show you this way so you can see a little bit more clearly. I like to hold the back of the chair so I feel like I have lots of support. Make sure that this supporting leg is in sitting mountain alignment with the middle toe knee, inner hip lined up and the ankle and knee on the side. And then just walking the leg back, maybe the first leg of the chair is enough for you today. Or maybe you'll go just so that the knee hangs down from the hip. We don't want to go further back for the psoas stretch. We want to feel a little lengthening through the lower back, ground down into both feet. And then from there, you might feel like that's perfect amount of stretch for you. We don't want to be overstretching here either. So let's just feel like it's a comfortable place to be. If you feel like you'd like to do something different with your arms, take your hand to your shoulder, or maybe a little bit up away from the body, or maybe stretch it up towards the sky, and you might stay upright, or you might lean up and over towards the back of your chair. We'll take a few breaths here, see if you can feel the breath into the place around the bottom of your rib cage, the front and the back of the body and the side. Maybe feel it down into your hip. Take one more. Next inhale, we're going to gently rise on up. Let the arm float down. Now I'm going to keep my legs in the same position. You're welcome to move yours further forward again if you'd like to, um, but no more than that knee and hip in alignment. Press into both feet and grow tall through the spine. And now on our exhale breath, we're going to twist gently towards the back of the chair. Now, your hand might come across the top of that front thigh onto the back. We don't want to be pulling on anything. Remember, we don't want to feel like it's the biggest stretch that we could ever do. We want to be in a place where we can comfortably breathe through our stretch. You may turn with the breath a little further around. Maybe you can hold the back of the seat, but placing your hands, it doesn't matter where they go. Just find that place that is the place where you're comfortable in your stretch. And we'll take a few breaths here. Next inhale, we're gonna come back around to the front again. And then from here, we can keep that back foot tucked under with the ball of the foot on the ground, or maybe we can even bring it so that the front of the foot is on the ground, only if that's comfortable. Some people might like to put a cushion or a block under that shin as well for a bit of support. Then we're gonna take our tailbone and move it down a little bit so we feel length in the back of the spine and also a little engagement through the pit of the belly. Just for what we're gonna do next. We need to press into both feet so we keep our core supported. You can keep holding on if that feels comfortable. You might keep yourself exactly as you are or maybe bring your hand to your shoulder, maybe raise the elbow or maybe let the arm float up and back a little. 
And if it feels okay and you feel comfortable to let go of that other hand, you might let the other hand join you. Another option might be to take those hands down and sort of rest your head in your arms. Gaze up to where the roof meets the wall. Again, we don't want to be overstretching. Overstretching just means that we're going to hold on and retract. So keep that breath flowing, keep the comfort through the stretch. And take one more breath. When you inhale, start to bring yourself back up. And if your arms are somewhere else, just gently bring them down as you exhale. Now slowly, we're gonna help move that foot forward, place it onto the ground, and come back into sitting mountain. And of course, you'll do that all on the other side now. I won't do it today with you in this class, but I wanted to just show you those three movements that you can do on any chair anywhere um, to help combat some of those mental health challenges that might come with uh, the tightening of the psoas, the breathing challenges, and also the lower back challenges. So I hope that was helpful for you today. Uh, if you'd like any more information, please get in touch with me. I'm always happy to hear from you and answer your questions. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.